In this video, we are going to learn about how to use initialize cell block with the primary constructor. If you want to add some additional code segments to the primary constructor of a class, then you can use the initialize cell block. So here we have a class called person. I'm going to add some parameters to the primary constructor of this class. F name that is of string type. Now here we have another variable called uh, last name l name uh, that is of string type. So in this class I'm going to create some other variables. First name that is of string type. Now create another variable uh, last name that is also string type. So in this class, I'm going to use an initialize cell block with the primary constructor. So you can use this keyword in it. So this is the initialize cell block of the primary constructor. So now I'm going to initialize these variables. First name equal to uh, f name and last name equal to l name. Now create another variable name equal to uh, first name uh, put a space and last name now convert this one into uppercase now print the name of the person Uh, variable name so this is how we use a init block with the primary constructor so now we can create an object from the main function person pass two parameter first name and last name now we can run the program Here is the program output. So this is how we use an initialize cell block with the primary constructor in Kotlin.